This meeting is being recorded. Am I audible, sir? Yes. So, a warm greetings to one and all. Today, the citizens of India stand proud on their ground, knowing that ISRO has completed 53 years of excellence. So, on behalf of my team members, Anand Radhakrishnan, Rikita Mondel, Devyan Stimri, and myself, Amy Watson, I would like to present on the topic. Indian space development since 2010. India is a developing nation that has launched numerous attempts to alleviate the nation's distinctive socio-economic inequalities. Its contribution to space development is among the one among the best ever initiative taken by India. So uh, let's talk, I mean, let's start with the history. With the early establishment of INCOSPA, short for Indian National Committee for Space Research, Way back in the year 1962, we know that Indian space program began to take shape. With the onset of Department of Space or DOS on 1972 and the Space Commission, the spa uh, they, they uh, together cons uh, consolidated the space program. And Dr. Vikram Sarabhai, a great Indian physicist and astronomer, he was the first person to initiate the space research in India. And whilst being the head of the body, he assisted various execution of national space policies and the growth of India through the independent use, utilization of space technology and data. ISRO now helps in monitoring the environment, remote sensing, weather forecasting, and various other studies for the betterment of Indian society. So by implementing these weather forecasting and uh, environmental monitoring, ISRO is looking forward to surveying and monitoring the nation's natural resources and also inspiring the nation's young mind. The main task or the main vision of and mission of India is the creation and launching of numerous homegrown satellites, launchers, space probes, rockets, and technologies. India has come a long way in terms of interplanetary explorations and deep space communications and is constantly learning new things. However, India is still on its way to venture the unfathomed dark space. So our study includes a comprehensive analysis of all India's space accomplishments and outlines the goals and aims of this nation. I would like to hand over the presentation to Devyan Stimli. Uh, good, uh, good evening to everyone. I'm going to start with uh, Indian Science uh, Indian Science of Indian Space Program for the last decade. Start from so 20 years. The most notable program of Sakura in 2010 is the launch of Sakura 2B from the Human Space Center, Sri Harikota, using India, India's solar satellite launch vehicle. On July 10th, on July 12th, uh, 2010, Sakura 2B is an uh, Earth observation satellite in a sun synchronous orbit and the fourth and the fourth of the Sakura uh, series of satellites. The satellite is the 17th satellite in the Indian remote sensing series, along with along with uh, Cartasat 2 B, uh, PSL C15, which uh, carried four other auxiliary satellites in uh, during its flight, which includes Stadsat, a Pico satellite which is less than a kilogram in weight, built collaboratively by students from group of uh, engineering college from Karnataka and Andhra Pradesh, and NL NLS one. Uh, NLS 6.1 and NLS 6.2, two nano satellites from University of Toronto, Canada, and Alsa 2A, a micro satellite from Algerian Space Agency. In uh, in the year to, uh, 2011, the world saw the successful launch of IRSR2, also known as Resource R2, on April 20, 2011. The 18th remote sensing satellite produced by Resource R2 is called on system to Resource R1. The goal of Resource Star 2 is to continue providing remote sensing data, uh, remote sensing data services to international users while also enhancing the multi spectral uh, geographic coverage of the data. Enhancement of list for multi spectral swaps from 23 kilometers to 70 kilometers and improved radio meter accuracy from 7 bits to 12 bits for list 3 and list 4 and 10 bits to 12 bits for AWIPS. Uh, are the significant changes in uh, Resource Star 2 compared to Resource Star 1? Uh, in the year 2012, a noticeable, a noticeable, a noticeable, a notable accomplishment, uh, accomplishment for ISRO was the successful launch of entirely indigenous microwave Earth imaging satellite, RISAT-1, uh, or its full form is uh, radio, 
radar imaging satellite by PSLV by by a PSLV flight on 26 April 2012. Resat one was the heaviest Earth observation satellite ever launched by India at that time, and the heaviest satellite ever launched using a polar satellite launch vehicle with mass of 1858 kilograms during liftoff. Its function was to capture photograph of Earth both during the day and night, as well as when it was cloudy, because just a handful of nations have the technological know-how to create an all-weather remote sensing remote sensing satellite like Resat One, which can collect data even in cloud, darkness, haze, and dust storm circumstances. In 2013, India's first interplanetary mission, Mangalyaan, took place with the help of PSLV C25. With the help of India, uh, with the help of India's first indigenously developed navigation satellite IRNSS One A, this year uh, was a success for Indian. The fully implemented satellite was transported to Sri Harikota on October two, two thousand and thirteen, where it was connected to PSLV uh, XL launch system. The adopt the adaptation of the modified Chandrayaan two orbiter bus enabled the satellite's development to be uh, expedited and completed in a record 15 months. Officials from NASA and ISRO linked a contract on September 30, 2014 to create a roadmap for future cooperative missions to investigate Mars. <coughs> in the year 2014, uh, GSLV D5 was successfully launched on 5 Jan 2014, the Mars Orbiter Mission uh, MOM. Uh, mass orbiter mission or MOM, also known as Mangalyaan, was launched as India's first uh, interplanetary mission to planet interplanetary mission to planet Mars. MOM orbited Mars on September 24, 2014, in its very first attempt. India became the first nation in the world to launch a spacecraft into orbit on Mars on 18 December 2014. Uh, GSLV MK3. The first experimental flight of ISRO and heaviest and most upgraded rocket vehicle was launched from Sri Harikota. The main objective of GSAT 14 mission was to uh, augment the in orbit capacity of extended C and KU band transponders to provide a platform for new experiments. The cuboid shaped GSAT 14 has a lift of mass of uh, had a lift of mass of 19, uh, 1982 kilograms and the dry mass of the satellite was 18 uh, was uh, 851 kilograms. In 2050, India launched its fourth navigation satellite. Uh, uh, 2050 comm uh, commemorates the 100-day campaign triumph conclusion. ISRO launched five British satellites, uh, AstroSat, in also uh, AstroSat, India's first specifically designed multi-wavelength space observatory was uh, successfully launched aboard a PSLV C-30 rocket on September 28, 2015. On November 11, uh, 2015, an uh, Ariane 5 rocket uh, was successfully launched uh, using GSAT-15, one of the most recent communication sat uh, satellite of India from Coro Space Center in French Guiana. The GSAT-15's communication system capacity, which will cover India, consists of 24 KU band transponders. In the year 2016, the first experimental experimental mission of ISRO scramjet engine towards the uh, realization of an air breathing propulsion propulsion system which uses hydrogen as fuel uh, fuel and oxygen from the atmosphere. Air is ox uh, as an oxidizer was successfully conducted on August 28, 2016, with the hypersonic flight at Mach 6. With with this test, India became the fourth country to demonstrate the flight testing of scramjet engine towards developing essential technology for a fully uh, reusable launch, uh, fully reusable launch vehicle to enable low cost access to space. Excess, uh, ISRO successfully flight tested India's first winged body reusable launch vehicle technology demonstrator uh, RLB TV, demonstrating autonomous navigation guidance and control and re-entry mission uh, management on 23rd May 2016. Three Indian nanosatellite INS-1A, INS-1B, and INS-1C, and one Microsat were also were launched were also launched in 2016, uh, which which paved the way to host a variety of experimental payloads on cost-effective uh, versatile satellite platform. In the year 2017, India's first interplanetary mission, MOM, uh, for outliving its originally 
far outliving its originally planned life completed three year in in its orbit in september 2017 the parameters of the spacecraft are no, were normal and all five payloads uh, uh, sending were uh, sending useful data the mars color camera ha had so far produced 940 images one of which uh, uh, appeared on the cover page of november 2016 issue of national geographic magazine in 2018, seven more satellites of Indian Regional Navigation Satellite System, IRN, IRNSS constellation, were successfully launched during the period. The constellation is named as Na NAVIC and dedicated to, the nation, uh, dedicated to the nation by Honorable Prime Minister on 28 April 2016. IRNS-1 uh, is, is the eighth member to join the constellation, were, was launched successfully on board PSLV C-41. On April 12, 2018, the above period also witnessed uh, the set period also witnessed the launch of seven Earth observation satellites for high resolution imaging satellite Cartosat 2 series, uh, uh, advanced weather monitoring satellite in Sat 3DR satellite for cyclone tracking, climate and environmental studies, uh, S SCAT Sat. SCAT sat with KU band uh, and scatter meter and a remote sensing satellite for natural resources management. This so sat too. For, dissemin uh, for disseminating, disseminating alert messages to fishermen, communicating through NAV IC uh, has been, uh, uh, was successfully developed and demonstrated. Initially, 500 NAV IC uh, devices in Kerala and 200 NAV IC devices in Tamil Nadu were planned to be distributed uh, to fishermen by May 2018. Industry have been industries has been developed for mass production uh, of nav, nav IC devices. It's ISRO uh, uh, now moving on to the 2019 to present years. ISRO had has had a major impact since the beginning of 90s, but has made made exponential growth since since the projects in 2019 and further scope advancement. In 2019, India's polar satellite launch vehicle successfully in, injected Microsat R and Columnsat V2 satellites into their designated orbits. India's telecommunication satellite GSAT 31 was successfully launched on February or uh, February 6, 2019. From the Coro launch base, French uh, French Guiana, by Ariana 5 VA247. GSAT 31 is co uh, configured on ISRO's enhanced 1I2K bus, utilizing the maximum bus capabilities of this type. This satellite will augment, uh, augment the KU band transporter cap transponder capacity in, geo in a geostationary orbit. India's PSLV C-45 successfully injected uh, MESAT and 28 international customer satellites into their designated, uh, designated orbit. India's PSLV C-46 successfully launched the uh, Resat 2B satellite from uh, Satish Dhawan Space Center, uh, Shri, uh, Shri Harigota. In this machine, the core alone configuration of PSLV was flown without the use of solid strap on, without the use of solid strap on motors. About 50 minutes and 30 seconds after liftoff, uh, lift off, Resat 2B was injected into an orbit of 555 kilometers at an inclination of 37 degrees to the equator. India's geosynchronous satellite launch vehicle, GSLB MK3MI, successfully launched the Chand Chandrayaan 2 spacecraft on July 22, 2019, and its planned orbit with perigee of uh, 169.7 kilometers and an apogee. Uh, an apogee of 45,475 kilometers. The launch took place from the second launch pad at Satish Dhawan Space Center, Sahar, Shri Harikota. In the year 2020, uh, India's telecommunication satellite GSAT-30 was successfully launched into a geosynchronous transfer orbit on January 7, uh, 17, 2020 from, from, uh, from the Karo launch base, French, Guyana, by Ariana 5 VA-251. The satellite provides Indian mainland and island coverage in KU band and extended coverage in spring Gulf country. A large number of Asian countries and uh, Asian countries and Australia. The, uh, the design in orbit operational life of GSAT 30 uh, was more than 15 years. PSLV successfully launched EOS-01 uh, and 9 customer satellites the Harikota in India's polar satellite launch vehicle in its 51st flight. PSLV-C49 successfully launched EOS-1 along with 9 international 
uh, an international just must start light on november 7 2020 in the year 2021 pslv safety c51 the first dedicated no, uh, launch for nsil successfully launches amazonia 1 and 18 co passenger satellites from shri harikota indian india's polar satellite launch vehicle a pslv safety c51 successfully launched amazonia along with 18 co passenger satellites uh, on 28 uh, february 2021 Amazonia 1 is uh, the optical Earth observation satellite for National Inter Institute for Space Research, INPE. This satellite would further strengthen the existing structure by providing remote sensing data to users for monitoring uh, deforestation in the Amazon region uh, and analysis of diverse agriculture across the Brazilian territory. EOS 03 is a state of the art uh, uh, state of the art agile earth observation satellite that that was uh, that was placed in a geosynchronous transfer orbit by GSLV F10. Subsequently, the satellite will reach the final geostationary orbit using its uh, onboard propulsion system. In the year 2022, uh, India's polar satellite launch vehicle PSLV C52 injected Earth observation satellite EOS 04 into an in intended sun synchronous polar orbit of 529 kilometers on February 14, 2022. Uh, now, I would like to pass the, I would like, I would invite Rikita Mondal to uh, give the conclusion. Uh, so the conclusion uh, we can draw uh, from here is that see the uh, the vision and the mission of ISRO to develop the space technology and the advancement in the field of interplanetary mission and the research based on human life existing on the other planets and to aid the planet development as a whole. So there are there are increasing need for the services where the space may play a key role as we grow from the most agrarian uh, economy to the more industrial and the service oriented. Uh, the one where is more heavily reliant on technology. Uh, so you can also see that the uh, India has come a long way where they have carried the suborbital rocket uh, in the back of a uh, bicycle to, to the mission planning of the Chandrayaan-1 moon mission yeah. and Chandrayaan-2. So India have come a long way uh, in terms of space development and still has miles to go and still uh, searching for that excellence. Uh, they have they have gone there increasing they have done so much things that they have increasing need for the uh, for the services where the space may. Again, I'm saying is that there is the increasing they have uh, they have moved of the Gaganyaan one they have uh, planned for the Gaganyaan one two and the three. Uh, so uh, India have uh, like the. ISRO oversees a number of target initiatives to advance the science education and to supply the information to the research community. So as we have gone through the whole year and we can see that how ISRO has developed, how they have made the Indians proud. Uh, so the next slide, uh, we're gonna see that these are the references where we have taken all those resources and uh, information. Uh, you can go through that. And, Thank you, the, uh, Professor uh, Sudhi Chattavadi, uh, for giving us this opportunity. Thank you.